Siding on houses invariably is gonna get damaged at some point during the life of the house. Whether you got shingles, clapboard, fiber cement, or vinyl siding. Uh, what we're gonna show you in this series is some simple ways to make the repairs by removing and replacing the actual siding pieces without doing damage to the surrounding siding or even the paint finish on that siding. So with a few simple tools and maybe 15 minutes to 45 minutes, you can replace a piece of siding and any of those different types. So here we've got some damage on the vinyl siding. There's a couple of approaches I can take to making a repair here. One's like a temporary patch. You could do, say, damage happens during the winter and you just want to tide it over till the springtime when you can remove an entire panel. It's quick and it's easy. All it is is taking a piece of vinyl siding, trimming off a couple of parts on it so that it slides up under a joint and then pop rivets on the bottom. You can see the problem though is that you got a vertical line on both sides so you can see it a little bit. So the important thing here is where you make the cuts. Here I have a, a, an extra piece of vinyl siding. It's going to be wide enough to fit over the patched area. Then we're going to have to cut off the uh, hem at the top and the butt lock down at the bottom. Now we don't want to just cut it off right here in line with that hem. We want to cut it up a little bit higher so that we get an interlock between the pieces. So what I'll do to get there is flip it over and just use a sharp knife. Now this is a blade I just put in the knife and I'm going to cut just below those punch outs for the nails. And you don't need a straight edge to do this. Just making a, a good by eye cut is fine. Once I score through it with the sharp knife, a couple bends, and that piece will come right off. Now at the bottom, it's going to be a little bit more difficult cut because I'll be cutting right near that uh, eased edge at the bottom. So I'm going to do this by putting the vinyl on a good stiff edge on these horses and using care so as I don't cut the tip of my thumb off I'll just score a line again by eye. This one I'm going to make two scores. I'm going to make the, a second pass so that I know I'm getting deep enough in. It'll make it easier to snap that apart. There. And now, slips right in place. So we're just going to make two holes, one about an inch in from each side, and then take our handy pop rivet tool. Now, sometimes you can get a color matched one. This one isn't color matched, but it'll be fine. I can always dab a dab of colored paint on it later. It's white. And then sometime in the future, when I have more time, I can replace the entire panel. Just pull the old one out, new one goes in, all set.